Hey, welcome back, Madcap Toys fans. My name is Kathy, and you are back in the toy barn. I hope you are doing fantastic today. And guess what? I got to share something with you that it just ate me up alive. I sent the wrong item to a buyer on Macari. Oh, I'm going to explain that to you. But before we begin, if you haven't already, what are you doing? Subscribe to the Madcap Toys family. We want you to be a part of us. Also, hit the bell. For all notifications because each and every time we upload content of course you're gonna be the first to know and comments we love you guys' input keep um, doing those polls in the community and commenting on how things are going what's going what's not going we love to hear from you so we have eight items on the block from Macari and eBay Poshmark kind of leaving us hanging I don't know if you're on a vacation in June what's going on but uh, you're not hitting it so you gotta kind of pull it up there uh yeah guys something happened but i'm gonna explain a little bit so i'm not i'm gonna take the blame full fault at it right full fault um but in some ways it wasn't all my fault i'm gonna tell you why so real quickly so i won't ramble because i tend to do that sometimes so anyway, on Macari, I sold a shirt. We could get these from a pallet buy. And I had about, have about, well, I think I have about nine of them, but I had 10 of them, okay? Some of the ones, they were out of package, out of plastic, right? Where you could hold it up. And these were uh, CyberSource Dinosaur short sleeve shirts. And the ones held up had the SKU code. The ones, I also had about five that were encased in plastic. Never opened up by Target at all. Was encased in plastic and just beautiful, right? And those that were encased in plastic were the same UPC code, of course, as the ones that were opened. So, of course, what did Kathy think? Kathy thought, okay, so because they have the same exact UPC code all together they're the same thing same picture same thing look same color no problema so i list them all right the same so i had a seal of macari the other day packed it shipped it right the shirt and i get a message last night after we we shot a video and uh this lady said hey um i received the wrong item i got the right item as far as the right shirt in the sense of the right you know, picture on the front, etc. But I didn't get a short sleeve shirt. I got a long sleeve shirt. And I thought for a minute, well, I don't have any long sleeve shirt Cybersaurus. And so before I attached a motion to it, I thought, okay, <clears throat> I'm going to take the benefit of the doubt. And she said, I can send a photo if you like. <clears throat> so I went upstairs in my inventory where I have my clothing that is safely uh, clean and stored. And I knew where I got this shirt. And I thought, well, let me see here. So I grabbed it out, the one of the plastic ones, because that's one of the ones I shipped, right? And I went and looked at the UPC code, looked it up on Macari, and it was the same UPC code as the others. And I thought, well, this can't be. It's got to be short sleeve. So I took that particular shirt out of the package to check and sure enough yep it was long sleeve so i did send out a long sleeve t-shirt when i had listed 10 of the ming short sleeve so what has happened is the few that were out with the same size were short sleeve but also in that palette they gave me a case pack of the same t-shirt same size, but in long sleeve. So before I contact Rex, I was going to be, yep, I own it. It's my fault. Uh, you know, what can I do? She had already contacted Mercari. And not only did she get her money back, but she also got to keep the item. Now, before you go, man, Mercari also paid me out for that item, too. I don't understand what she did or how that was able to be because in essence, I'm thinking if you apply a return request, you're going to want to ship the item back, get your money back, end of deal, which I was willfully going to do, my, my own it. 
but it seemed like it was immediate. So I don't know if she is a buyer and uh, as far as a buyer and she sells from my inventory because that happens. You guys know it happens if you're a reseller, you know what happens. And she paid the money back to the her buyer and she kept the item so she could resell that particular item. I don't know. I'm just I'm just talking here. Or what? So she gave me a five star rating because I'm a car you have before you get paid, you have to you have to, you know, do a, some kind of rating. She gave me five stars, gave me quick shipper, clean shipper, great understanding. So I'm a little confused. Happy that we're we're not going, you know, that the customer's happy um, and that the process is okay. But it's kind of strange because I don't know what she did to initiate a return request. But it instantly, Macari said, okay, you won. You get your money back and you get to keep the item. Seller's not going to ship, you know, seller's not going to get the item back. And then still pay me. It was weird. And I made sure of it too, guys. I had made sure my Macari got, oh. I got paid for it. Okay, including shipping. Fine. I don't know. It was weird, but in essence, it was my fault. So the the moral of the story of this all is, yes, you're human. Yes, you can make mistakes. We all make them. We're resellers. But if you ever, and if you have bought pallets, some of you will probably shake your head. Um, some of you may have pallet buys with clothing, but haven't really looked yet. If you buy an item, maybe from Target or wherever else, and it has the same SKU number. Some are loose where you can see them and see that they're short or long sleeve. If you get any in case packs, even though if they're the same size and even if they're in plastic and you really don't want to open one to take one out, do it anyway. Because you may just find out it may have the same applique, it may be the same size, maybe the same color, maybe the same UPC code, but it may not be short sleeve, it may be long sleeve. Or it may be short sleeve instead of long sleeve, etc. Whatever it may be. Check. Check those. Because I had to go back, which is fine. Um, and count the ones that were long sleeve with the same size, with the same UPC code. And switch it around so I wouldn't get any more of that again. So me and the buyer are good. Fantastic. Moving forward. That is fixed. But... You would think, though, guys, that if something was a little bit different, whether it be short sleeve, long sleeve, what have you, limited edition, whatever it is, that there would be a little bit manipulation of a slight difference of the UPC code. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with me or am I wrong here and you need to set me straight? Let me know what you think. I want to hear from you here because it's just too weird for me that something, an item has the same UPC code, whether it's short sleeve or long sleeve, that doesn't make sense to me. But if I'm wrong, straighten me out. I want to hear from you. All right, we're going to get on here. I told you I would try not to ramble, but I did a little bit. I apologize. So, uh, we had, uh, eight silly said we got a couple more that just hit before I came out here and they will be on the next video. So we have a couple of pending, but I thought I'd go right ahead since these were already found to go and talk to you about these. So, we're going to start off with Mercari. We had one, like I said, there's one pen, uh, one or two pending now on there. But this is from Roblox. This is from our store that we had in Bedford back in 2015. I uh, was going to start to dip in the Roblox series. I didn't know how popular it was. At the time when I purchased this in a retail arbitrage, it was brand new. Series 1, right? So one of the originals. So I thought I'm going to try it. Got this on clearance. Wanted to see where it goes. I don't believe I do have any Roblox left. Not to say I won't get any in the future, but I was trying to try <laughs> and see what to do here. So this is the Roblox Series 1 Roblox High School Collector Set from Jazzwares. And it is going out to Shop Blocks Codes. Hey there, guys. And it sold for $9.45 plus shipping to boot. Thank you so much for that. Just a very, very, very slight. I believe I had $9. Uh, $9.99 or something of that nature. And uh, we, are, we were going to push this through. It's kind of been here in the toy store a little bit of while. So going out to you in the AM, we appreciate that. And so we're going to move on already to eBay. 
most of our sales in the last couple days guys have been very much through ebay and we do appreciate that i know there's been still as you guys know from the last video a lot of error codes a lot of uh we're sorry this tool is down right now please try again later stuff happening but you know we're 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 kind of dealing through darren just listed 25 items today so at this uh, recording we are almost six hundred dollars away from our eight thousand dollar goal we only have two days left so i don't know if i have time to help them out tonight i should uh that that will help along with the next couple of days uh if that's going to bring us to the edge of that to bring us to our goal or not so we will let you know uh, in the next video or two so this came from the superhero tote we have an action figure darren had just posted about listed about two weeks ago this is the 2006 toy biz marvel comics warpath collector action figure came from again the superhero tote really good size figure going out to abe hey there abe thank you so much for 19 dollars 98 cents really nice i think he took about a i think it was a 15 percent uh uh, off uh, as far as that goes but definitely a great figure to have in your collection thank you so much for that and we never stop selling coins guys i think i even have some coins that have just uh, popped up on future videos coming up but this one had to go out uh tomorrow this is the 1887 s silver morgan dollar in very good condition if you have if you're kind of contemplating whether you want to list uh silver and or gold right now you might want to bypass the overthinking and actually do it silver is now currently at this recording uh, a little over 31 dollars an ounce so now is the time to reflect go back on some of your items make sure you're getting the money you need at spot price um and making those deals so this was at our coin desk of course it's going out to walter hi walter thank you so much for 70 dollars so about a 10 percent discount here um but going out to you walter in the am thank you for that and again signature confirmation it's over 50 bucks right and we've explained that in previous videos uh, but definitely something that you want to do when it's over 50 bucks always want them to sign all right and we are out of these not out of the Call of Duty small boxes, but we are out of the Call of Duty Incendiary Soldiers. You've probably seen a few videos ago. I sold one. Now I've sold the last one. So they're sold out on this. Came from the Lego Shell 3 2018. New mint on card. Mega Constructs Call of Duty Incendiary Soldier. 23 pieces. Going out to Peter. Hi there, Peter. Thank you so much for that for $15.98. Really, really nice. Uh, we actually purchased a whole display on a retail arbitrage don't you do that sometimes when you go you see something on clearance for a very good buy we just took the display and took all that was in there and just took off with it put it in the cart and moved away and then darren i think a little bit after that uh bought a few uh online somewhere for a really good deal and a lot um to keep it going but yeah it is dwindled down to almost where the display is totally naked over there on the lego shelf so what we're going to be dealing with that we may even sell the display i don't know please let us know in the comments below if that's a good idea or a terrible idea and if so if we do do we keep it intact or do we kind of like um remove it where we can flatten it gently without ruining it to ship it i don't know let us know what you think what is a good idea or not i don't know i've never I've never sold a display before, so let me know, especially if it's a cardboard display. All right, so moving on from here, my friend likes to go to sleep sometimes. All right, from the Walking Dead series, so we went from video game to TV show. The Walking Dead by AMC Series 9. Everybody knows Daryl Dixon, and we have one of these figures left exactly the way it looks. And then we're all out of that. The Walking Dead AMC Daryl Dixon McFarlane Toys Series 9 action figure from 2016 was found on the left wall. One more left and we're out. And it's going out to Nicola. Hi, Nicola. Thank you so much for $17. Not too bad. Going out to you in the AM. Thank you so much. And next up, pallet buys are where it's at, folks. Uh, 
you can get things really, really good. It sounds crazy, but this brand new sealed from Target Palettes, uh, Casaluna Sheets, I only paid $4.50. Can you imagine? Um, and uh, so I've got, I think I had like maybe about three or four of these. But this is the Casaluna Full Set 100% Washed Hemp Natural Solid Sheet Set. And they took advantage of the 15% off for May. Going out to Beth. Hey there, Beth. Thank you so much. I sold this for $59.99. Again, uh, when you get palette stuff, even it's stuff that you don't uh, normally um, sell, definitely take advantage of it. Still mint with tag, never been opened, was never revealed at Target. They never took it out of the bag. Brand new and ready for Beth to use. So thank you so much, Beth. Going out to you. All right, moving along. Do I have this one? Yeah, I do. All right, and another coin. This is more one of our lower grades coins and uh, was found in Coin Album 5. Uh, this is the Barber Dime series. So, yes, uh, Roosevelt wasn't always the uh, dime, guys. They were back in the day when we had Barber Dimes and Mercury Dimes and things of that nature. Maybe I'll do a, a film on uh, coins from yesteryear, maybe one of these days. Who knows? Uh, this is the 1914 D Silver Barber Dime. Another, another piece of silver here. Average circulated. Going out to, and we have five more of these specific in the denomination. Going out to Henry. Hey there, Henry. For $4.98. So just two cents under what we had listed on the card. Thank you so much there. And Darren found this for me last night while I was kind of bustling through trying to get things found. Came from our Toy Tote one. Really super nice. I love these kind of series that have uh, the Marvel on them. This is the 2013 Mattel Hot Wheels Marvel Spider-Man Fire Eater. Uh, number six out of eight. Again, found in Toy Tote one. And it's going out to Freddy. Hey there, Freddy. For $8. Not too bad. It was just a slight amount. I think Darren had maybe about $10.98 on this. Took a slight deal. I would say it, we, we bought a couple of big... Uh, buys from people for for Hot Wheels he may have only paid maybe at most maybe 50 cents to two dollars at best so really really nice making money doing what we love and that is selling buying and selling toys collectibles and more we love it very much and it looks like that is all one two three four five six seven eight I do have like I said a couple pending orders a comic and I think about one or two coins that I got to find um, that I will reveal in the next video. But yeah, guys, uh, that sometimes things come up when you don't expect it. Again, send a wrong item to a buyer. It happens, all right? So just be more careful if you buy pallets. That's my nugget for today. Uh, even if it has the same logo, even if it's the same size, even if it has the same UPC code, and you've got some that are laying there in plastic, don't just assume it's the same stuff. Take one out and look or take them all out and look and gently put them back um, because you might find that it may be slightly different than what you have that was already loose out with tag. So that's my nugget for today. All right, guys, you've been fantastic. I'm going to go back and get these packed, uh, get those ready for the AM and get some more things and help Darren list a little bit in the next two days. So until then, guys, and until next time. Bye-bye.